The spectacular coat of arms for the fourth Ford-class aircraft carrier, USS Doris Miller, was designed by the USS Nevada Remembrance Project. Prior to the attack on Pearl Harbor, Doris Miller served aboard the battleship Nevada. He was named Doris, traditionally a female name, because the midwife assisting in the labor was convinced before his birth that he would be a girl, analogous to modern times, on the rare occasion when the reveal party color is incorrect. The foundation of the design is a 16-inch gun barrel. Doris was serving aboard the USS West Virginia when the attack on Pearl Harbor began. The coat of arms motto, inspired by Frederick Douglass, Abraham Lincoln, and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is the cornerstone of freedom, most appropriate since freedom in actuality was certainly quite sparse for an African-American born in the deep south of a former Confederate state 54 years after the conclusion of the Civil War. Doris was born on October 12, 1919 in Waco, Texas, the son of sharecroppers and the grandson of enslaved people. Dr. King said, lightning makes no sound until it strikes. The flight deck of the USS Doris Miller will be abundantly inhabited with Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II combat aircraft. There is a lone F-35 Lightning in the design and landing configuration above a swirling W in homage to Doris Miller's hometown of Waco. Coincidentally, USS Doris Miller CVN-81 and the Cornerstone of Freedom are exactly the same number of characters. Surrounding the crest are exactly 102 cornerstones, which represent the 102 American military ships present at Pearl Harbor on the morning of December 7, 1941. Each of the 102 cornerstones are equal. Equality is paramount to freedom. Lincoln said as much in the first sentence of the Gettysburg Address on November 19, 1863, four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. The interior of the gun barrel is the flag of Texas turned on its side. World War II did just that to the Republic of Texas. Of the half million American military personnel killed in World War II, 25,000 were Texans, including Doris Miller. The upper half of the design includes an atomic Texas star adorned with three high energy atomic ovals and two visible electrons, which represent the two nuclear reactors that will power the Doris Miller. The color of the symbolic ovals and electrons is Medal of Honor Blue. Doris was not awarded the Medal of Honor, but came close, as the ovals and electrons are to the Texas Star. Foremost, the electrons and ovals convey advanced technology and energetic action, both human and mechanical. The portrait view of the USS Doris Miller is so massive that the superstructure exceeds the boundaries of the inner circle, representing protection and defense capabilities that exceed. The letters D and M in Morse code flank the left and right sides of the carrier in a salute to naval cryptology and the code breaking that helped bring an end to World War II in the Pacific via the tireless efforts of Joe Rochefort and his code cracking staff. The lower right quarter has two components, an old style left-handed boxing glove with leather straps. Doris was left-handed. The orientation is raised vertically, high in victory. This V has numerous meanings, primarily representing the five battle stars awarded to the West Virginia, the ship upon which Doris Miller made history, and also denotes that Doris Miller was the West Virginia's boxing champion, the V standing for victory. The V also represents any number of powerful words, including valiant, vanquish, vaunted, vengeance, veritas, the Roman goddess of truth, veteran, and primarily, valor. In U.S. Naval and Marine Corps aviation, a V designates fixed-wing aircraft squadrons. As in CVN before Doris Miller's hull number, C represents an aircraft carrier. V, as mentioned above, indicates a ship that carries and launches primarily fixed-wing aircraft, and the N stands for nuclear. The lower left corner features six stars that represent the ships that Doris Miller either served aboard or had named in his honor. A tilted star indicates that the ship fought in World War II. A level star indicates that the ship did not see combat. As far as color, a blue star indicates that the representative ship was lost at sea, either sunk by enemy fire or as a post-war gunnery torpedo target. A white star means the ship survived World War II. And a silver star indicates that the ship was built after World War II. The primary feature of the lower right quadrant is the gold lion. The stoic gold lion, facing west towards Pearl Harbor and the Japanese empire beyond, represents Doris, as well as the attributes of strength steadfastness, and courage. The lion also pays respectful homage to Doris Miller's African ancestry. At the base of the lion's neck is a crescent-shaped C, which was the U.S. Navy's representative symbol for Cook Messmate during World War II. The lowest blue star represents the heavy cruiser USS Indianapolis. Doris served aboard the Indy after the attack on Pearl Harbor. 
The Indy was the last American surface ship lost in World War II, torpedoed and sunk by Japanese submarine I-58 just after midnight on July 30th, 1945. Of a crew of 1,195, 880 perished, the second deadliest sinking of a U.S. Navy vessel in World War II behind the loss of the USS Arizona, which claimed the lives of 1,177. In homage to the ship that helped end the war with Japan and the 880 crewmen lost, the Indianapolis is remembered in the crest with a black silhouette at the three o'clock position in the gray circle. The second lowest blue star represents the battleship Nevada. Doris served aboard the Nevada in temporary duty assignment in July of 1941 before being transferred to the USS West Virginia. In July of 1948, after an extremely distinguished career that spanned three decades in service in both world wars, the Nevada was sunk by an aerial torpedo after sustained gunnery practice failed to sink her. In the spring of 2020, her wreckage was discovered by Ocean Infinity. Her remains the depth of 15,400 feet, roughly 65 miles southwest of Oahu. In December of 2021, 80 years after the attack on Pearl Harbor, the United States Coast Guard dropped a specially signed wreath and state-shaped sinker over the remains of the Nevada. Click on the link below to watch the incredible video of this unique and epic commemoration. The third blue star, located under the chin of the gold lion, represents the USS Liscombe Bay. This was the Casablanca-class aircraft carrier escort ship. Doris was serving aboard when, on November 12, 1943, the ship was sunk by Japanese submarine I-175. Doris was among the 644 crew who perished in the sinking. The Liscombe Bay's representative blue star is the closest to the Gold Lion's heart and the highest of the three blue stars. Her remains rest on the ocean floor at a depth of 12,500 feet. A black silhouette of the Liscombe Bay is set in the gray circle at the nine o'clock position. Note that the Gold Lion gazes upon the silhouette of the USS Liscombe Bay. The lower of the two white stars represents the battleship USS West Virginia, the ship upon which Doris enshrined himself in history with his heroic actions on December 7th, 1941. survived World War II, struck in 1959. The highest of the two white stars represents the first ship Doris was assigned to, the ammunition ship USS Pyro. The Pyro also was anchored at Pearl Harbor during the attack, credited with damaging a Nakajima B-5N2 torpedo bomber aircraft. As the white star indicates, the Pyro survived the war and was decommissioned in June of 1946 before being scrapped. The sixth and final star on the lower left quadrant represents the Knox-class destroyer escort ship USS Miller, FF-1091, the first ship to be named after Doris Miller. The Miller was commissioned 30 years after Doris was killed, June 30, 1973, and decommissioned on October 15, 1991, just three days after what would have been Doris Miller's 72nd birthday. The Miller did not see combat action during her numerous Atlantic deployments which is why the star is level, unlike the other five stars, each representing ships that fought during World War II. If you approve of this coat of arms for the USS Doris Miller, please hit like and share this video. This is John Galloway. Thank you for taking time to watch this video.